Hi guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. In this video, I am going to share a wig review with you and this wig, Henry Magoo, has totally knocked it right out of the park with this wig. This wig is phenomenal. I absolutely love it. And before I put it on my head, I'm just going to share the inside of the cap with you. But the wig I'm talking about is a brand new release from Henry Magoo called Avery. And Avery is just beautiful. But let me share the inside of the cap. Oh, on my head is Henry Margu's Katie wig. This is a, um, a short bob style wig. And this was sent to me complimentary for review. And I have it in the color 25GR. I'll link the video that I did where I actually reviewed this, um, this wig. A couple of weeks ago so let me just do a quick spin because I love the the style of this I love how it tapers down how you have longer on the sides I took this with us camping when we were up in Bar Harbor Maine and I was out in the ocean of course most of the time I wore hats but it it's absolutely phenomenal under a hat so anyways let me share with you Avery oh my gosh Avery Avery, I have Avery in the color 614 GR, and I'll talk a little bit about more of the color when I put it on, but I just want you to take a look at this. It's a rooted style, which is my preference. I love to have a rooted style. Now, the cap on this, you have, and Henry Magoo does phenomenal lace fronts, but you have a ear to ear basically ear tab to ear tab lace front and then you have a monofilament it goes into a part I believe it's a left side part there is no permatease on this at all now this is I have it in average I have not cinched it you can certainly do this velcro adjusters that you can do the back has a little bit of an extended late nape you can see the rooting in the back and the ear tabs are velvet lined, very, very comfortable. This, this is a shorter version of one of the most popular Henry Magoo styles, Candace. I don't have Candace, so I can't compare it, but oh my gosh, this is phenomenal. Now I'm gonna put her on my head. <laughs> oh. I'll just make some adjustments here so you can actually see. This is, lift this up slightly. So this is right out of the box. No styling. Let me just show you the, the lace front, what it looks like. I think Henry Magoo, hands down, does exquisite lace fronts. Absolutely beautiful. So as I said, there's no styling to this. There is really no permatease, at least not that I can feel. It's just, it's just really beautiful. Let me tell you a little bit about this. So Avery is a new style and I have her in the color 614 GR. This is part of their Naturally Yours line. The fibers are synthetic, so they're not heat-friendly fibers. And the cap I have, the cap size is average. So this is actually described, the color is described on the website as a wheat blonde with light gold blonde highlights and, a brown, and, and brown roots. So to me, this is, and I've got a couple of wigs that are in the wheat family. But to me, this is a light, light wheat color, right? It is not to me like a dark, like the wheat colors that I have. So it almost looks more like platinum -y to me, but I'm used to a little bit darker colors. So to me, this is a, um, a lighter wheat color for sure. So, and, and I think the highlights are more, I'm not pulling a lot of gold. It may look gold in the camera, I'm not too sure. It may also look a little bit more shinier than it is in real life, but the wig is brand new. So you can always deal with shine. 
and you know you can wash it let it have a good soak in cold water you can spray some dry shampoo on it if you want but in real life when I look in the mirror I'm not pulling a lot of uh, shine but I think in the camera it might so but anyways wheat blonde really light wheat blonde to me um, which I really like and I am seeing some really look at the root this is a darker brown root I think the root is beautiful and when I first took it out of the box I was like oh wow the root it seems so stark but when I put it on my head it did not seem as dark on me as it looked in the box so Avery is described as a shorter version, as I said before, of the very, very popular Henry Magoo style called Candace. It has beautiful layers that frame the face, and that is really what I like. I, I don't want a wig to fall flat. I don't want a lot of permatease, and I don't want to have a ton of fibers. I would say that out of all the Henry Magoo's that I own, this hat and I own quite a few. This has the this is the lightest density Henry Magoo that I've ever had, and I love this density. So even though there's no permatease, the shape of the wig, the layers, I think makes it really look becoming. I'm going to do a slow turn, so you can see. And I'll go in the back. So the bangs are 8.5. The uh, top is between four to ten and a half inches. The sides are 6.5 to 6.9 to 9.5. So there's variations. And the back four to nine and a half. And the nape is about a four inch. Overall, it's about 11 inches and it's a little over. It's 3.30 ounces. So, yeah. I love this style. I just think this is, this for a bob a mid-style bob for me. I just think this is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The fibers, not heat friendly, so you know they're gonna sh you know, really handle all sorts of different conditions. And I just think the style is beautiful. It's timeless, it's realistic. I keep looking at myself in the mirror. It's realistic, I love it. I'm gonna put one of my hats on because I do wear a lot of hats and I have not tried this on with a hat. <laughs> this is how I, yeah, if I'm going out um, in the sun, because I do a lot of things outdoors, so I do wear a lot of hats. So how does the wig look with a hat? I think this is um, important for me anyways. So I'm going to turn around again so you can see it. I love it. Now, if you have a hard time with flyaways, especially when you have synthetic fibers and they're right out of the box, you can always use some sort of a texturizing cream if you want to, um, to contain it, or even a wig hairspray if you want. I have not done any of that. So, again, I just want to show you. I'm like in love. I'm in love with their lace fronts. Absolutely in love with their lace front. And this, if you want, you can tuck it behind your ears. Let me see if I can do that here. Give it an ear tuck and have this kind of a look. You can have barrettes. You can you can do pretty well almost anything you really like with this style. Again, Henry Magu, brand new style, Avery. I'm going to superimpose some outside shots right now so that you can see it and just take a look again at the flow of these fibers low density, no permatease that I can feel, perfect everyday fiber, synthetic, beautiful. It has a lace front and a beautiful monofilament part, gives you a natural look. The roots <laughs> are not overdone. And I have seen some that when I look at it and go, there's no way I would ever wear that. I love this. I am going to order this in a couple of different colors. I just love the style especially once you train it off your head, if that's what you want to do, um, however you want to wear it, or if you wanted to even trim bangs, you could do that. Anyways, I will link this wig below, but you can pick this up at any of your favorite retailers. This is Henry Magu Avery, brand new release in the color 614GR. Thank you so much for watching.